Nothing more delicious than a nice and moist, slightly pink piece of perfectly fried salmon. Especially if it's got that crispy skin we all want. And the best part about all of this is, it's so damn easy. Just follow these simple steps. To cook a nice piece of salmon, you first need, yeah, you guessed it, a nice piece of salmon. Unless you know what you're doing, I would recommend that you go with farmed salmon. It's much easier to cook because it's nice and fat. It's also way cheaper and is what most people associate with salmon these days. Make sure you get your salmon descaled, as it can create quite a mess descaling it at home. If it's not possible, remove them by running a knife against the scales as shown. A necessary tip is to hold your second hand as a guard to catch any scales going wild. Otherwise, you're gonna find random fish scales in your home for a long, long time. Give it a smell. It shouldn't smell too fishy. You're looking for more of a slightly oceany sort of smell. It should be nice and firm and bounce back when poked. Also, the meat shouldn't be slimy. Fatty, but not slimy. There's a difference. Remove a bit of the fatty belly section and save for later use. Now, for all your skin scores, I'm going to score one of them. If you have a sharp knife, you can score the skin. If not, don't. You'll probably do more harm than good. This can help crisp up the skin a bit, but it's perfectly doable without. Heat your pan properly, so it does this to water droplets. Add enough oil to cover the bottom. Pat your salmon with paper towel to remove any moisture. Moisture is the biggest enemy of crispy and lay your salmon into the pan skin side down. Make sure you lay it away from yourself to avoid oil splatter. As you can see, the skin contracts when hitting the hot oil. Oftentimes it falls down again, but just to be sure, press it down for a few seconds and now leave it alone. After a minute or so, turn down your heat a bit to avoid burning the skin. Look at the side of your salmon. You see that pink line slowly creeping upwards? That's your indicator. When this color change reaches around halfway from the skin to the top at the thickest part, it's time to flip. Fish skin needs its time, so be patient. It will release when it's ready. If it sticks, it needs more time. As you can see, we're about halfway. After flipping, cook it for a few minutes and remove it from the pan. Boom! There you have it. Perfectly cooked salmon, and look, all your skin scores, both are crispy. But it sure does look good. Serve your perfect pan seared salmon with your potato of choice, grilled asparagus, and a lovely lemony sauce hollandaise. And don't forget the dill. Okay, let's check it out. So moist. See? Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.